Hello everyone. Welcome to Controllers Tech. This is another video in Nextian series, and today we will see, how to use waveforms on this display. I will be using my STM32 for sending the sine wave and the square waves of different frequencies. Let's start by creating a new project in Nextian Editor. Give some name to the project here. Select your display type, and the display orientation that you want to work with. I am going to add a waveform here. And resize it to fit the whole display. Here we have the ID one. You can change the grid width, and height here. I will change it back to 40, that fits my display better. You can select how many channels you want to work with. I will use two channels to show the difference between the two. That's basically all. Let's debug this once. I will send the waveform to this display. That's how it's going to look. Each grid here represents 40, and that's why the lowest point is 40, as I have used it as the minimum value. Let's upload it to the board. Here I am using a FTDI module to upload the code. The blue wire is connected between the display TX to the module RX, and the yellow is between the display RX to the module TX. Red is 5 volts, and black is ground. Let's upload the code now. It's uploaded, and the editor part is done now. Let's open the cube IDE, and create a new project. I am using F446RE. I am selecting external crystal for the main clock. I am using UART4 to send data to the display. Change the board rate to 9600. In the clock setup, I have external 8 MHz crystal, and I want the system to run at maximum clock. Click save to generate the project. So here is our main file. I am adding these end commands, that we need to send to the display, after we are done with sending data. Now we need to send the values to the display, in order to generate the wave. Let's check the instructions for the Nextian display. Here we can use, add function to send the values to the waveform. Data ranges from 0 to 255. Here is an example to send data. I have created a function to send the sine wave to this display. Don't worry, I will explain this, but first let's define the object name here. This is the object name for the waveform on the display. Here, this function takes the parameters as the ID number, which you can see here, is 1. 
then the channel number, to which you want to send the data to. The amplitude of the sine wave, the frequency, the Y shift, and the grid height, which in my case is 40. I have defined the number of samples as 100 here. You can change them, according to your requirement. I will explain this part later, let's come to the main part here. I am using the sine function to get the value here. And this 127, is to keep the mean position of the wave in the middle of the display. As we saw the values ranges here from 0 to 255, so that's why I am using 127 to bring the wave to the middle. Basically, 127 will be added in each value of sine theta, and therefore, we will get the wave in the middle of the display. Also the Y shift will be added further to shift the wave up, or down the display. Now we send the add command with ID number, channel number, and the value. And in the end, send the end command. Let's include the math.h for sine function, and stdio.h for the sprintf. Call the function in the while loop. I have ID number 1, channel 0, amplitude 1, frequency 1, no Y shift, and the grid height is 40. Let's build and flash this. You can see the sine wave in the middle of the display. This is because, I haven't provided any Y shift. Also the amplitude is 1. Let's make some changes now. I will first change the amplitude to 2. You can see the wave with amplitude of 2. Let's increase frequency also. This is working as expected. I will change everything back to 1, and experiment with the shift in the y-axis. That small portion is cut from the display. Anyway, this is working just fine. Now coming to this grid calibration here. First we get the value of the grid width, which in my case is 40, but this function will get that value anyway. And then we get the value for the grid height. 
In this case, this value here, will be neglected. Now, I have replaced the number of samples with the width. And the rest of the functions are same. To use this part, we must define this in our code. Now you see, this part is grayed out. Let's build, and flash. You can see, one oscillation of sine wave, is equal to one width of the grid. I will change Y shift back to zero. And now you can see it perfectly. We can again change the amplitude and the frequency, like we did earlier. That's all about the sine wave. I also want to include the square wave here. This is exactly the same function as the sine wave. Except for this line here. This will basically limit the values to either high, or low, no intermediate values. Let's call the square wave function also. Before that, I will disable the grid calibration. You can use this also, I just want to use the simple one. Again, ID number is 1, I want to use another channel for this, and rest of the things are kept to default values. This channel should be 1, as the first channel is 0. Let's build and flash. You can see the square wave, and the sine wave of same frequencies. Let's try to move the square wave a little up on the display. I will change the Y shift to 2 here. And we got the perfect result. Obviously, one function is executing at a time, and that's why the waves are shifting one at a time. If you want both of them to shift simultaneously, then send both the values for the sine wave, and the square wave at the same time. I will leave the code in the description for that. This is it for this video. In the next video of the Nextian series, I will cover the animation part. You can download the code from the link in the description. Keep watching, be safe, and have a nice day ahead.